what is up guys it's moose here bringing you guys another video today we are going to be doing another created class best created class video and today we're going to be doing on the bison as you can see in my hands right there um the bison is a very controversial gun in competitive call of duty right now um or at least it was a little bit ago because before this recent update that i just made a video on um it was very very overpowered and everyone kind of figured that out at the same time and I don't know, it was really overpowered. You could hip fire like across the map and just kill somebody in like one to two bullets. It was almost, it was insane. So they did end up banning it. And then in this recent update, they made it a little worse. They gave it a little bit more recoil. So it is, it's not as good as it used to be. So if you heard rumors about it a little bit ago, it's not that good. Um, I heard it's decent. It's like a decent submachine gun, but people wouldn't use it for competitive. Um, people will still use the Vector or the MTAR. But for some pub classes for it, I'll show you some pub classes here that I just threw up here. Um, the first one is just a slaying class. I mean, that's just a class. If I was going to quickly go make a class for a submachine gun um, for the bison, I would make this class right here. So it's the bison with the grip and the muzzle brake. Um, I found that to be the best. I haven't played with the bison since the update a couple days ago, so I'm not sure how it plays. But these are the attachments I used back before the update when it was really overpowered. Um, so the, the muzzle brake and the grip. Then the perks that I have on here are ready up agility marathon steady aim dead silence and focus um i really have marathon on there but you could take that out and put on like sleight of hand or like i don't know something else i don't really like marathon but with the bison since it is almost like a steady aim gun that's when i use it just because i don't really like the iron sights on it but i'm not going to use a red dot that seems very strange to use on a submachine gun um even though i do use it on the vector i don't know but I don't, I don't like the iron sights, so I just hip fire with it, and it seems very, um, very good when you hip fire it. So that's why I have steady aim on there. So you can use marathon because you pull up your gun faster with ready up, and then you can just hip fire so you don't have to aim down your sights uh, too fast or anything like that. And then I have the specialist perks on there. You guys could do whatever you want with that. You guys know that. The second class that we have um, here, I don't, I'm not sure about this class. I'm not 100% sure, but it's something if you guys really like this gun, you might want to try out. Extended mags with a grip. Um, I figured I'd put the grip instead of the muzzle brake to cut down on some of the recoil. And then I do have steady game on here. So if you really want to be just that guy in the game who everyone's not going to like, you could throw in those extended mags and that steady aim, the grip. You could just hit fire all day without reloading. Um, you could even put steady aim on here too. As you can see, I have a smoke and incog again. So if I got to get to an objective, you can smoke it out, lay on it, sit on it, whatever, get it with the incog. They won't be able to see you with thermals. And then I have this strike package as well. Um, I don't know how this class would work out. I really don't. It may be good. Maybe I should throw a silencer on there instead. Speaking of silencer, third class here. I got the silencer in the grip. Now, one thing about this gun, with a silencer, it is not um, that good. There's a huge difference from the muzzle brake to a silencer, so be aware of that. But the silencer in pub matches does come with some pluses, as they won't see you on the radar. And that's why I have off the grid on one of my perks here as well. As you can see, I threw a grenade on here. I had an extra perk slot, so I threw the grenade on here. And as you can see, I have ready up, steady aim again, dead silence focus once again with this with this uh, silencer on here. So if you guys want to try out a silencer class, maybe mix and match some of these classes together to make whatever class you guys feel comfortable with. Um, I hope that these classes come in handy for you guys if you guys like to use the bison. Um, the fourth class here, I just threw it together. It's with um, steady aim, or not steady aim. It's with uh, sleight of hand instead of marathon as the first class. Um, so if you guys like these classes, use them, try them out. Please click the like button down below. I'll have more videos coming out here very soon for you guys. Um, sub if you guys are not already. Stay tuned for things to come. My Twitter is in the description down below. If you guys have a Twitter, go follow me on there. Um, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.